Have you ever wondered how the Israel-Palestine conflict began? It's a story that traces back to the late 19th century, with a pivotal moment in 1948, the creation of the State of Israel. This event sparked the first Arab-Israeli war, igniting a flame that would fuel decades of conflict. But this was merely the beginning. As tensions simmered, they soon boiled over into the Six-Day War in 1967, a conflict of such intensity it changed the face of the Middle East. Israel's victory expanded its territories, but it also deepened the divisions, further complicating the path to peace. And yet, the heat of conflict did not wane. It escalated into the Yom Kippur War in 1973, a surprise attack on Israel by coalition forces from Egypt and Syria. This war, fought on the holiest day in the Jewish calendar, marked another chapter in this ongoing saga. So here we are at the genesis of a conflict that has spanned over seven decades, shaping not just the region, but the world. A story of two nations, bound by history, yet divided by conflict. In the face of rising tensions, peace seemed a distant dream. But amidst the chaos, were there any attempts at peace, you may wonder? Let's rewind to 1979. The Camp David Accords, a pivotal moment in Middle Eastern history, emerged as a beacon of hope. This agreement improved relations between Israel and Egypt, marking a significant step forward. But there was a catch. The burning question of Palestinian self-determination remained unresolved, casting a shadow over the newfound peace. Fast forward to the 90s, the Oslo Accords, signed in 1993 and 95, brought a fresh wave of optimism. They established a framework for Palestinian self-governance, laying the groundwork for what many hoped would be a lasting solution. These accords were a glimmer of hope, a testament to the possibility of coexistence even amidst long-standing strife. Yet the path to peace was fraught with more struggles. So, what led to the escalation of the conflict? The answer lies in a series of events that caused a significant rise in tensions. The first intifada, or uprising, occurred in 1987. This period marked a shift in the conflict, with widespread civil disobedience against Israeli occupation. This was a time of stone-throwing protests, strikes, and civil unrest. Then, fast forward to the year 2000, the second intifada erupted. This was a much bloodier conflict characterized by suicide bombings, shootings, and violent protests. It lasted until 2005 and resulted in thousands of casualties on both sides. During this period, Israel started constructing a barrier wall around the West Bank. This wall, which Israel claimed was for security reasons, was seen by Palestinians as a symbol of oppression and a tool for land grab. In 2006, another pivotal event occurred. Hamas, a Palestinian political and military organization, took control of the Gaza Strip. This led to violent clashes between Hamas and Fatah, another major Palestinian political faction. The violence continued until a reconciliation agreement was reached in 2014. But as we'll see, this agreement did little to quell the unrest. The conflict was far from over. And how did recent events shape the conflict? Let's delve into that. The Trump administration brought about a fresh wave of changes that had significant implications on the Israel-Palestine conflict. In an unprecedented move, the administration cancelled funding for the UN Relief and Works Agency, a lifeline for many Palestinians. Furthermore, they relocated the US Embassy to Jerusalem, a city with deep religious and political significance for both Israelis and Palestinians. In a surprising turn of events, the Abraham Accords were brokered normalizing relations between Israel and several Arab nations, including Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates, Morocco, and Sudan. This marked a significant shift in the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. However, the conflict was far from over. In May of 2021, protests erupted following the eviction of Palestinian families in East Jerusalem. These protests escalated into a full-blown conflict with rocket launches by Hamas, and retaliatory airstrikes by Israel. And so the conflict continues. What is the current state of the Israel-Palestine conflict? As we speak, the situation remains fragile. Recently, fighting between Israel and Hamas has resumed after a temporary ceasefire, leading to widespread evacuations and an expanded ground offensive by Israel in the densely populated Gaza Strip. This conflict has brought about substantial humanitarian concerns. 
the lack of basic supplies and functioning hospitals has escalated the crisis, sparking fears of disease spread and increasing the number of civilian casualties. With reports of Hamas positioning within civilian infrastructure and Israeli strikes causing collateral damage, the situation is dire and complex. Amidst the regional unrest, the United States has done little to engage in shuttle diplomacy. On the contrary, it has been actively funding the war and genocide of the Palestinians. The future of the Israel-Palestine conflict remains uncertain as efforts for a lasting peace continue. Let's hope that the path towards resolution, though fraught with difficulty, is one the world can tread together.